Hello, this is Video Thang Dude, and today I'm going to help you make your first video using the free, easy video editor, Video Thang. The first thing you need to do, if you haven't already, is go to www.videothang.com, download the software, and install it on your computer. And once you've done this, we can get going with the Video Thang software. The first time you run Video Thang, a screen will appear asking you to import at least one movie or picture file, since Video Thang can't do anything without at least one. Click the Import Photo Video button, and a Windows Explorer screen will display. Navigate to the location on your hard drive where your photos and videos are, and select a photo or video to import, then press Open. Video Thang will process your file, and then the file will be added to the list of My Stuff and appear in the Edit My Stuff and My Mix areas. So you'll need to report, repeat the import process again to import all the photos and videos you want to use for your project. The next time you import, press and hold the control button while you're selecting the files you want to import, and Video Thang will load them all into the editor at one time. Okay, so if you look in the upper left hand at My Stuff area, you should see a list of all the files that you've imported. Right above the list are tabs for Video, Photos, Audio, Titles, and Transitions. If you've imported videos and photos, you can click on either tab to see a list of those files. Let's begin our mix by adding a fade in. Click the Transitions tab, it's on the far right. In this list of transitions, click Fade In. Then click Apply Changes to Mix. You've just added a fade in to the timeline. Okay, so now our video needs an opening title. Click on the Titles tab. Scroll down in the list of titles to select Centered Title. Type the text you want for your title in the Edit My Stuff area. Then click Apply Changes to Mix. And that's our title. Okay, now we need some photos and videos. Click the Photo or Videos tab. And all we need to do is start clicking on photos or videos in the list, and they will be added to the timeline. You can trim the beginning or end of a video by dragging the start and end positions under the trim section of the Edit My Stuff area. To make your video a little more smooth, after each video or photo you add to the timeline, click the Transitions tab and add a crossfade. Now this is a really easy way to give a mix with just photos some life. If you want, you can import an audio mp3 file and add it to the timeline so your movie has a soundtrack. Now, we need to preview our movie to make sure it's what we want, so click the preview button and Video Thing will show us a preview of what the movie will look like once we export it. If the preview looks good, it's time to share our movie. So when the preview is over, we're back at the main screen. Click the share your mix button and for now just click save for email. You can explore the other export options later. Video Thing will ask you if you want to use Microsoft Outlook to share your movie. If you have Outlook installed and configured, click Yes, otherwise click No. Then we'll have to name our movie, and depending on whether or not you're using Outlook to share, click either Create Message or Save. Video Thing will export the file and then display a link to the file on your hard drive. Or if you use Outlook, it'll show you a new message with the file attached. Now you can watch the finished movie. And that's pretty much it, folks. So, um, I hope this helps you get started with Video Thing, but watch out for more Video Thing Dude tutorials on www.videothing.com/vtdude.